Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, so today I've got two panels to build for a entertainment center that's going on the road. So this is the first one. Uh, pretty simple stuff here. Uh, the only thing that makes this panel pretty unique is that we've got a decor punch going on in here. So the system is utilizing a DBX Zone Pro um, to, for its system processor, and this one is just going to control one of the inputs. So this guy is just going to go there, just like that. Um, and we've just got some other stuff like XLRs and SDIs and HDMIs, and well, that's about it. Some blanks. So anyway, here, uh, here we go on panel one. Alrighty, so we got this guy finished up. Here is a view of the front. I think this DBX piece looks pretty sweet in here. Um, so here's the back. So you can see all of the, uh, the heat shrunk connectors there. Um, I've got a little standoff right here with a little cable saddle to just keep the, uh, the direction of the cable flow all right. Um, the back of these little ZC1 controllers just have little RJs on the back, so when I install this into the rack of the case, I'll terminate that. Um, and uh, I also pre-made some SDI cables for this panel. If you want to check and see how those were made, just click the link in the upper right-hand section of the video now. Um, all right, let's get the control panel wired up. All right, y'all, here's the second panel. So the uh, power portion of this is done already. Um, so we're just going to get this roughly populated here before we, uh, we get this into the case. So uh, some of the connections are actually in the case already. Um, this top left-hand aux input, that's an HDMI. Um, the one below that is a female um, eighth inch for uh, auxiliary audio. Uh, the TV USB is in the case already. So once we marry that into the case, we'll get those. And the other one that's in the case is there's a toggle switch that controls the lift monitor up and down. Um, but the ones that we are going to populate are the uh, very, very satisfying 30 mil uh, Siemens buttons. There's a, a big push button and a big analog incandescent light. Um, and then we're going to prep our um, XLRs and USBs. So here we go. y'all that wraps this up so um 
check the, uh, the link in the description here for the finished case so you can see what this all actually does. Um, if you, uh, if you follow LM on Instagram, which I suggest you do, there's a lot of the cool builds there, it's just it's LM underscore cases. Um, this uh, system control panel, I use a lot with these two big buttons like this. It just is a really cool attention getter. But if you want to see this finished up project, just check the link in the description. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a web, a web thing or an Instagram thing or maybe both. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.